Basically, in 2017, we approached uh, Nissan and the person of Alfonso Baiza and Mr. Bob Lashley, the program director of uh, GTR. And we proposed to have a combination between Ital Design 50th anniversary and Nissan GTR 50th anniversary. So we proposed the story, uh, the light idea, and uh, we make it true. And we, last year we presented the car in Goodwood. Uh, the project started basically in May 2017 uh, from zero. So Nissan desi started design the car. There was an internal competition in between the studios. And when the styles was finalized uh, around December 2017, we started the engineering and the production. In 2018, Ital Design celebrated the 50th anniversary. Uh, it has a long run, a long history. Uh, the strong point of Ital Design was always combining design with engineering. So the two founders, Mr. Giorgetto Giaro from the design side and Mr. Aldo Mantovani from engineer always combine these two parts, design and engineering, because we always wanted to produce something that is feasible. So the designing phase was always really strictly connected with the engineering phase, because it makes no sense to design something that later cannot be produced. So since the very first sketch, uh, the, Mr. Giugiaro was always focusing on make it feasible. So this is our strong point uh, that make our history. We are Italian at the end of the day, so it's part of our DNA, the supercar. I think supercar is peak for both engineering and design. It's something like a dream come true. So you put all the best effort both in terms of design and engineering because you have to show to make a nice car that people would like to buy, but not only nice, but also performing. So it's as I say, it's the peak of the automotive uh, industry, the supercar. For Ital Design, it was a kind of a dream to be part of this uh, project because uh, GTR is a legend, is a legend, and especially in Japan, but recently in the last 20 years become also a legend in Europe. So being part of this project for us was really, really important. And I think uh, uh, with this amazing object on my behind, uh, is a good example of what we can do working together with Nissan in terms of uh, engineering and construction of the car. Italian is very famous for handcraftsmanship uh, and it's something that we want always to apply on the car, on the concept car and the uh, fuel of production. Uh, basically the car in the old days of Carrozzeria that is still uh, alive in, in Turin uh, the area where we are, we used to build a car by hands. Uh, they are not producing line uh, in eight hours, but to build a car like that, uh, uh, for the few of it takes more or less eight weeks. So we want to keep the tradition of uh, panel bitted uh, alive. So the car that you see here is all being done by hand. All the body side, the door skin, the roof uh, is in uh, steel panel bitted by hand, like in the old days, 50 years ago, basically. And uh, we try to combine this craftsmanship with the technology from Nissan, and I think it's a good mariage wedding. Working with Alfonso was amazing because uh, uh, working meeting with him is not working meeting. It's like a friendly talk. Uh, he's a really passionate guy about this type of project. Uh, and as I say, there were never tension in the meeting. It was like going out with a friend, talk about cars, uh, how to make a project nice. Uh, and so far for me it was one of the best projects because the atmosphere was really relaxed uh, there was not huge pressure on it uh, so we could give our best because when the atmosphere is like that it's not a job it's a pleasure to work on an icon like that so for me it was one of the most impressive projects so far it's the combination between craftsmanship uh, and the performance. Uh, in Italian we call this type of car prototype, that means prototype in English. Usually the, the rest of the world call them show car, but this is not a normal show car, this is a performing uh, show car. So we call it prototypes because they are really more close to the production than a, a show car. And this is the Italian DNA that we try to transfer to the car. And we drove this car all around the world. We went to Goodwood, we went to Spa Francorchamps, then we went to Laguna Seca. I had the honor to drive it in uh, Laguna Seca and it was amazing and it's really a performing car.